I'm Levi Sim, and this is the Vanguard Alta Fly 51, no, yeah, 51D. Oh, excuse me, Alta Sky 51D. And it's a backpack, it's a camera backpack. And I think you would really like it. It does everything well. It's, um, it's well-sized for carrying lots of gear, as well as non-camera gear. It's got three compartments that you can use to separate either your gear or your clothes or your lunch or whatever. But interestingly, you can also carry your drone inside this bag. It's made to fit something like a, a DJI Phantom 4, that, that style of a quadcopter. And it will fit inside here, and it will fit on the outside. Let me show you the outside first. You can flop down this beaver tail, and this will actually extend enough that you can carry your drone on the outside here. So when you're on location and you're just getting around from point to point, you can carry it on the outside. When you are traveling, and, and there's straps here to keep it in place, I like these a lot. This toggle system allows you to uh, change the position of the straps to, to wherever you like, um, just by using those toggles in and out through the web belt on there. There's extra pockets in there. I mean, it's, it's a really spacious bag, um, and it's extremely well made as, as well. Um, all, the, all the seams are taped. There's bar tacks at all the stress points, um, hardy zipper pulls. I've had Vanguard bags for many years, and I'm extremely satisfied with them. Uh, here's an access point to the main compartment. So if you, if you like to use like a sling bag and you can stick your camera right in there and pull it out, ready to deploy. Or the, uh, the main compartment is right here on the back. And I like this style quite a lot because when I'm out, I can set my bag down on the ground. And even if it's been raining or if I'm in the dirt or mud, when I put my backpack on, I'm not, I'm not putting the, the part that was on the mud back onto my back. Do you see what I mean? Because, um, because the, the compartment opens from the back, from the, the part that goes against my back. Does that make, is that clear? <laughs> it's got this diagram here that will show you a couple of different configurations. You can put the camera in the sling side like I just showed you in that compartment right here, or you can open up this top compartment and have it coming all the way down through that. And then there's also instructions here for how to set it up to carry both your drone and a camera, because there's another compartment here at the bottom. So the drone can go up here, and these wear points cover the rotors on your drone so that they don't cut through the bag. I think that's, that's a smart idea and well thought out. Uh, there's big straps inside, these Velcro straps that you can use to secure any shape of parcel. And there's um, lots of dividers that, that are all just Velcro so you can move them around to fit whatever you're doing. Uh, again, the, the high visibility interior of these Vanguard bags is terrific. The yellow so you don't lose your black lens caps down inside a black bag. I like that a lot. These really large zipper pulls here are awesome. They allow you to stuff things a lot more in that bag. And then also, oh, I should, I should show you that from zipped out here. Um, on this flap, there's also the compartment right here that'll take like a 15 inch MacBook. will fit right in there. Or it's got a floating pocket for an iPad. Um, so that's really nice. It keeps that heavy item, that, that computer, close to your back, which makes it feel less weighty when you're wearing it because it's not, if, if you put it farther out from your back, it's pulling backwards on you more and, and you feel it more intensely in your shoulders. So having that weight, that, that heaviest thing close to your back is really nice. Um, the back pads here are extremely comfortable and very breathable. It leaves a large air channel here that lets the sweat evaporate from your back while you're working. It's also got the strap to go over the handle on your carry-on, which makes it very nice for uh, traveling and getting around different places. Whether, whether you're traveling on an airplane or just, just rolling another bag of gear, it's, an, it's a really good way to, to uh, carry things and get around. Uh, what else? The straps are all very comfortable. I love this style of hip belt. This narrow back, uh, this narrow lumbar that hits, this narrow pad that hits in your lumbar makes it really easy to maneuver your back. And uh, whether you're, you know, hiking into a place to fly or, um, or just walking through town, it's very comfortable to carry this bag for a long time. 
Uh, so that's the main compartment in there. There's also the top compartment, which you, oh, I still got the shipping pack in there, which you can use for camera gear and things in there or, or not for camera gear. This, this divider comes out and opens up to the main compartment. The whole thing connects if you just remove the Vel Velcro dividers. And at the bottom, there's another compartment right here. You just open up like this. And I like, I kind of like the way this works. So when my bag is laying flat, it deploys like that. And you've got the, the camera dividers right there. So that's, that's a pretty cool way to work and just pull things straight out. Um, of course, maybe, maybe it'd be better if it, if it went synchronized with that back panel, because now my back panel is lying in the mud. And when I put it back on, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be putting the dirty side against my back again, but it's a it's a small compromise. I think I, th I think this is a really nice design, um, and then it's got grab handles everywhere. Like there's one here, so you can grab it out of the the luggage really out of the overhead nicely. The top handle is is large and and well padded and comfortable. You can drop a tripod in this pouch, or there's a thing on the beaver tail here where this flops down and it's got the tripod pocket here so that you'll be carrying it like that. And I, I like that a lot because it keeps the weight, like I would put the ball head down here and keep that weight low on my back so that it's not pulling backwards on my body. And then I'd use these straps to keep it in place. This is a just, it's a really good bag and it's well padded, but it's not super heavy like, like some bags get as they become super well built like this um, and it's it's comfortable it's a nice color you know it's not just black i like i like not black a lot of times uh, and uh the the yellow interior is great for not losing stuff it's a well-appointed bag and i think you'll like it a lot oh you can also strap your tripod on the bottom here or any other things that you'd like to so check out the vanguard alta sky 51D. I think D is for drone. And I think you'll enjoy it quite a lot, especially if you've got a drone because it'll fit on the inside or on the outside and you can get around town with it. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.